Now let's practice formatting all of these cells. So we can either use Command-1 to bring up that formula uh, or that Format Cells dialog box, but let's just see if we can do this using the Home tab with all of the options up here. So first of all, let's uh, format these numbers so that negatives are showing up with parentheses around them, and let's have that comma separator uh, at the thousands mark. We can easily do that by hitting this comma style button up here. And let's just show one decimal point instead of two. And to do that, we can use this button over here to decrease the decimal. Let's put a border under our years. You can either do that by hitting the border button and you might have to select the bottom border, but a shortcut for it is option command down. So if you hit option command down arrow, it will automatically put that border in there for you. Now, one thing uh, that we haven't talked about yet is color coding. So typically in Excel, it's important to maintain consistent coloring conventions, where conventions for financial statement modeling are used across the finance industry. You'll see three of them today that we have uh, inputs are typically blue. So I'm going to take my inputs and change the font color to blue. And formulas are typically black. So I'll leave the formatting of these cells as black. And let's just bold our gross profit line so it stands out. And we can bold it either by hitting this button, the B over here, or Command-B to bold the text. <laughs> 